Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm going to be looking at a really cool little mod that I have recently seen on Twitter. And this is a mod for language barriers, so this is super exciting because as you know if you've played The Sims before, um, there isn't really like any difference in language between like The Sims Worlds or like The, the Sims just tend to speak Simlish. Um, as a standard language, so this little mod is going to actually add um, a few different languages So it's going to add six different languages um, To the sims which I'm really really excited about and even though it's a simple mod I feel like this is going to really impact your gameplay if you enjoy playing with um, More realistic type of gameplay. This is going to really help you so There are um, as it says here. There are six languages and um, I can't pronounce these. Uh, Kamor Bigo, Salvadorian, Simlish, Six Army, Toki Solani, and Windenburgish. Um, the native languages are assigned to Sims, children and older, depending on their home world traits and a court type. Toddlers will acquire their native language once they become children. And those languages are going to depend on what ones they have been exposed to while growing up, which is super interesting as well. If you would want to like play with a mixed language household, you could have um, different languages in the house and like your child could be bilingual, which is really, really cool. Um, they can learn other languages by using Simlingo, which is supposed to be like Duolingo, and reading um, a book or interacting with other Sims that speak the language. Um, they have limited communication with those that they don't share a language with. Um, as you learn more of the language, the other Sims languages um, are going to unlock new interactions for your Sims as well. And if they don't share a language, they, they can have miscommunication, which is going to give you like some um, negative moodlets. Um, so yeah, this is, this is just super interesting. It's compatible with the base game, so um, even if you don't have the packs that these are assigned to, so like um, Windenberg, which is going to be assigned to Get Together, and Toki Solani obviously is going to be for Solani, Six Army is going to be like an alien language, all that sort of thing. So if you don't actually have um, the packs for this, don't, don't worry, these will still work. And this mod should be safe to work with most of the mods. Um, and if there, are, but there, if there are any other mods that sort of like change the way that Sims communicate, then they might it might not work properly with those. So just keep that in mind before you download. Um, and yeah, like it says here, you can actually disable the language you don't want to play with. You can set the residential worlds to speak whatever language you want, um, and the Sims will spawn with random random language skills. Um, you can tune yourself how this works. Um, you can also disable language barriers and they can just communicate like normal as well. Um, so it's going to give you some detailed instructions on how to do this sort of thing. So um, th this is um, going to be linked below so you guys can read all this stuff um, if you are interested in just going through it all. Um, there's like some console cheats and stuff that's going to help you um, to use this, um, this mod. So like I said, this is going to be the... Um, the sort of different mods, uh, different languages, sorry, that are going to come in this. So, I don't actually have the new expansion pack, so I won't be using this one. This is from the new expansion pack from Mount Gomorrembi, and um, then there's Salvadorian from Salvador, Salvadora, and then there is um, Windenburgish, like I said, from Windenburg. All mermaids are going to speak Tokasolani as well, regardless of where they live. Um, and anyone who has Islander traits as well. And then Six Army is all the aliens, regardless of where they live or what traits they have. So that is quite interesting. Um, like I said, you can learn the skills and this is this is gonna go into more detail if you want to check that out yourself um, in your own time. But this um, this mod is by Frank Kulak and I really, really think that it's very good. It's very good. It's Even though it's something simple, I love mods that are simple, simple to understand and use, but actually bring a lot to the gameplay. Um, I really like how you can, like something so simple as this, can really just improve um, like the realism of the game so much. So um, this is working with the latest patch. I know that a lot of mods have broken since they patched the game recently, um, but this one should be working and I have tested it and it is working with the patch as of the 16th of November. So um, hopefully um, it works for you guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the game 
Um, if you need help with downloading the mod, then I have a video that I will link below that explains how to download mods um, to your computer. And yeah, so I'm going to go into the game, I'm going to show you guys um, several different like interactions and how this sort of works with Sims. Okay, so once we are in game, you can actually access the languages menu by clicking on the sim of your choice and just clicking on languages. So this is going to show the native languages for her. Um, at the moment, her native language is actually set as Simlish. This is because of where she lives, so she's in Willow Creek. So because she lives there, it's going to automatically set it as Simlish. But we can actually change it and we can change it to whatever we want. Like I said, you can still change it to this even if I, even that I don't have Snowy Escape. So that's really good. Um, you can still use these languages. Um, so if I wanted to add this as her native language, um, she might actually have communication problems um, with the um, person that she's living with. So um, he, I think his is actually set to... I'm not really sure what his is set to. So um, we have actually as well, um, we've just talked to the toddler and you actually get these little things as well. So she's actually got the Windenbergish scale because her parents are now like bilingual. So she has um, like, she's gonna learn both like, like language of both her parents. I mean, she's gonna be bilingual. So <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, what is going on? Um, so yeah, like his is gonna be set to um, Simlish as well. So. Basically, if we try and interact, we might actually have some problems. So let's try a kind of basic interaction. Um, let's see if I go and talk to him and whether it will work. She's, she shouldn't have any of that skill um, at the moment. Um, I don't think that she has any skill for that. So they're talking and it seems to be all right. But um, like I said, it can it can result in a miscommunication. I don't know whether that it's a random occurrence, but... Um, we can just talk for a little bit um, and see if it works. Um, so, oh, okay. He's actually trying to understand the language here, look. So he has actually acquired the Windenbergish skill from talking to, um, to her. And um, she says, you sound like a text-to-speech program reading a screenplay written by a monkey. This is the miscommunication. So he's going to be tense, and he's going to be tense from miscommunicating with her. He's not able to understand the person that he's talking to because of a language barrier, which is going to be stressful for him. So, um, yeah, this is this is a really um, nice little feature. She's going to be taking um, like um, steps to learn his language, I guess, and she can take steps to learn like the um, the other language like so they can um learn the language <laughs> to speak to each other basically um sorry i am a little bit mixed up with my words today um so what we can actually do is um we can go into here and we can just take a look and see if i can find the book that's going to actually help us to learn the language so i think there's a textbook for it so here we go so we have um different textbooks for different languages so if i wanted to learn simlish for her i would find the simlish textbook here and i'm going to buy that and then we are going to read the book in here so if we go downstairs and we grab the book um we're going to actually be able to learn the language it's in a little reading nook um and we're going to be able to learn this new language um, which is going to be super interesting to see um, how this is going to help with her interacting with him. And as you actually develop the skills, it's actually going to come up here. So in a little skill panel, you're going to have the skills developed and the language you developed too. So um, she actually has her native language as Windenbergish, like I said, no. But that's not going to show up as a skill, her native language. Her native language is just what she has grown up speaking. Um, so she has now learnt Simlish and because she has level 10 Simlish skill um, She is going to be able to speak it to any sim um, As well as this she's not going to have any miscommunications and she is going to be able to sort of like just communicate with um, Pretty much anyone because like it says here Simlish is the the language that 80% of the sims use so it's going to be really helpful for her and now when we speak to um, 
to Nigel. He is not actually going to... Well, we were going to be able to communicate without a miscommunication. So if we go upstairs and we just talk to him for a little bit, um, we should have quite a good conversation um, with him now. Um, and it should all be all right. Um, oh, it's cancelled it. Um, this should be a lot better. Basically, he is running around cleaning up the mess like no tomorrow. Um, where's he gone? So if we go and talk to him, uh, here we go. So if we go and tell him a, a little story, um, he, yeah, we shouldn't get those same like negative moodlets that we once got when we were talking. Um, and he, she will automatically speak the language that um, he speaks like because she knows it now. Um, so that is a really, really interesting little feature. Um, and like, yeah, definitely is going to um, just add some realism to your game. Another thing I wanted to show you guys was if we actually interact with, let's pick one of the toddlers we have in this, this lot. We can go to this one in the, that's making a mess in the kitchen. Um, we can go and talk to um, the children. Um, and this is actually going to increase their skill of the language. So um, she has the Simlish level two now because she's been communicated with in Simlish. And then if we go and we communicate with her as her mother as well, and we are gonna teach her some Windenburgish too. And this will just um, mean that when she's gonna age up, um, which I'll show you guys in a minute, um, she will be able to speak both of the languages um, and she will be uh, like a little bilingual child. So here we go, we've got um, two for fr French and then we've got the Windenburgish as well. So if we age this sim up, um, let's think, how do I do this? Um, I can't think how to do it. I'm going to have to use another cheat to do it quickly because I am... Um, I don't want to. I don't want to have to waste a lot of time to show you guys this. So if we go on to this one, we're gonna age up to a child. Um, just give her a random sort of little um, aspiration. I don't know, creativity, I guess. So now she's a child. She has actually acquired a native language. So because she has learned more of the Simlish language while she has been a toddler, she's gonna acquire that as her native language. Um like as she's grown up um so if we go on to here we have yeah so we have the skill for simlish we also have the skill for windenburg skill for windenburgish so she's going to be bilingual growing up and obviously like she has the opportunity to learn more languages so that's pretty much all there is to this mod there's obviously like other interactions and that sort of thing but I just wanted to show you guys the basics and sort of how it works um, and like how it's going to affect the gameplay. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this then make sure you check out my other videos on my channel. I make a lot of videos to do with um, mods in The Sims 4 and I am hoping to do a lot more in the future than I've been doing recently. So if you guys are interested to see some mods you haven't heard of before. Um, or like some CC, I will be making a lot more videos. So remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you um, have anything to, any problems with the mod or if you have, yeah, if you want any advice, then um, feel free to do that. I will try my best to help you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.